Hi guys, it's your boy Six, and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of web development. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a navigation menu. This nav menu is also gonna be mobile compatible. I hope you guys find this information really useful and I hope you guys use it in all of your web projects. Let's find out how. All right guys, so now let's start this project. Now, as you can see on my left side, I actually have a folder called header vid and you see index, main and menu. So these are the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files to control this menu. Now, the way I've laid them out is I have my menu on this left panel and my main.css in this right panel and my index.html in, um, in this right panel, sorry. All right, so we're gonna start off with our HTML. We're gonna give it a little bit of space here and the text editor I'm using is Adam. So if you just come here and type in HTML, it'll do some code completion for you. We're just gonna call this one header. Header practice for our title. Perfect. Now we're actually gonna get started with our header. So the first thing we want to do is get everything linked up perfectly. So we're going to come here let me grab this and bring it over here for you guys. So inside our head, we're going to put this. Now, let me briefly explain what this code is going to do. All right. So right here is link rel style sheet main.css. This links it to our main CSS style sheet. Now what you're seeing right here is a content delivery network link for jQuery because we're going to be using it in this project. And also in the bottom right here is a script to link us to index.js. Now let me just tell you guys a little bit about jQuery and where you can find it. So if you come into Google and type in jQuery CDN, CDN, sorry type in jQuery CDN I like to get the one from W3 schools but you can pretty much do it from any place as long as you get that CDN link this is where you would get the jQuery CDN from Google now what this lets you do is you can use all the functions of jQuery without having to load a file on your browser so that's perfect it just links it to the project so now we're back to our actually let's close this one out that was the example so in a nutshell, that is what all this code in the head does. Now we need some code inside our body. So what we're going to be doing is this, we're going to establish our nav. So we're going to tab in one and type in nav. All right. So now we have our navigation control S to save this guy. Now inside our navigation and just for a quick example, I'm going to run the page. So you guys can actually see what this looks like because as it stands so far, our page has nothing. All right. So if we run this, there's nothing in here. It just says header practice, but now we, we don't want that obviously. So what we're going to do is put some actual elements in our HTML. So inside our nav, we're going to do the first thing we'll do is our navigation burger. So if you look right here, this is our navigation burger. And the thing is that our navigation burger is so far, it's just, there's nothing there. It's just a div. So let's come back to our page, refresh it. Nothing will happen. Now, before I put in anything else, we'll put in the rest of our elements here for our page. So under this navigation menu, I'm going to do this. So this sets up, first of all, this BR right here means break. So that means display anything else below what was on top of it. Now you can see these list items as home, about us, page one, page two, and page, th page three. These are going to be the different pages in our navigation menu. Now let's begin to style this with CSS because in this project, this is all the HTML that you're going to need. Now in our main CSS, I'm going to drop in a few blocks of code at a time, but this isn't meant to intimidate you guys. This is all for speed. All right, so we're just gonna drop these right here in our main.css. 
So what this lets us do is our nav menu that's over here, we've given it a background of all zeros, which is black, and the color of our text is all white. Our list style is none, and we're gonna clear both. Okay, now our nav list item, which were the items displayed inside our navigation menu, the display is gonna be inline block. Now, what this lets us do is display these items side by side. Our body is going to have a margin of zero, so we don't have any sort of white bars. Our burger, <clears throat> which is our div or our burger menu, has a class of burger. So this is what you're seeing right here. This is the ID of our menu or our menu button, burger, and the class of our menu button, burger, and the div. So when you look at right here where it says burger div, what this does is make each white bar, because each of these is gonna be a white bar in your burger menu. Each white bar is gonna have a width of 35 pixels, a height of five pixels, the color is gonna be white, and the margin is gonna be six pixels, zero. Now, if we run that in our page, you'll actually see that we have a menu. But the problem is this. When we displayed our burger, it was hidden. So, if I come to visibility, visible you can actually see what our burger looks like our burger is here this entire time it's just invisible now the reason that we make it invisible is so the, the reason that we make this invisible is this So we don't want anybody to know that this is there until we get to a certain width. That is the reason this doesn't have a visibility. Now we're gonna work on getting the burger to show up at a certain width. And that leads me to what is called a media query. Now, a media query allows us to change the behavior of our website based on, or not the behavior, but the layout of our website based on how wide the screen is. So, for example, a media query would be for 700 p px or 700 pixels would be this, at media screen and parentheses max width, and we're going to say 700 pixels. Now, what this does is that at 700 pixels, our layout is going to look like whatever style is inside this media query. So for a lot of pages, what, what would be on top here, for our example, would be our main style. And whatever comes inside the media query would be the style for various mobile screen sizes. Now I'm going to put in everything that we need for our media query. Okay, so what this code does here is this. It's saying that our burger, the visibility is visible. So now show our burger, display block, and this gives everything that we need to style our burger class. This gives everything that we need to style our navigation class. This styles our list item class in the navigation. And this dot open is what we're gonna come into next with our JavaScript file. So now we have nav list items, right? So these list items display none, show nothing. Nav open is going to change the class. Well, nav open is what the list item would look like if the class were open, right? But right now, each nav list item in our HTML doesn't have a class, and that's completely fine because we're gonna give it a class when a button is pressed. And that class that it's gonna get is what is under nav open. So this is what all this code means. Now, we're just gonna run this again just so you guys can see what that sort of looks like. So nothing changed, but watch what happens when we scale this page down. You see that our regular desktop navigation has disappeared and now we have a mobile nav button. So that's perfect. But there's a problem. If I click right here, nothing will happen. And that's all, that's all fine because we're gonna fix that in just a second. So now that brings me to our menu.js. Now we're gonna drop in some jQuery Five lines of jQuery will give you a mobile navigation menu, by the way. And you can see that example right here, bang. So, document.ready, we're gonna start a function. Now we're gonna say dot burger. Dot burger, if you guys remember right here, is our burger class for our navigation button. 
So basically saying, if we click on burger, run a function, and this function is gonna be nav list item toggle class open, meaning that when you tap it, it's gonna give it the class of open right here. It's gonna give it all these properties. If you tap it again, it'll take away the class open, meaning that this is going to open and close our navigation menu. Everything has been saved, and now if I run this, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But there is a problem here. Our navigation does not work, and I understand exactly why. So now when we came into our JavaScript file, we actually linked this to index.js, and that was my mistake. We need to link it to we need to link it to menu.js. And now if we refresh this project, everything should be working as as designed. Now, as you can see, we have a mobile navigation menu. If you stretch it out back to desktop, it looks like a desktop navigation. If you bring it down to mobile, everything will scale properly. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Code 6. I will have more front-end web tutorials coming in the future. Thanks. Here we go.